over the boardwalk we go. Tra la la. Huh, actually, I just sense a kind of breeze that's pushing some of the humidity out. That one's a rocker. Making its way to the Charles. Possible, it depends on the depth. You ever heard of Art Flick? No, who's he? He was the uh, founder of a whole school of fishing fly tying in the Catskills, but he also became something of a amateur bug scientist. And he would study all the bugs that trout like to eat in a stream called the Schuylkill. And he wrote a book about it, it's a classic. But he also figured out how to make streams more amenable to trout. You know what he did? What? You plant tons of willow trees along the banks. Mm -hmm. That stabilizes the banks, puts shade over the water to cool it, and forces the water to cut a deeper channel. Art wow. Flick. <laughs> he was kind of special. When I was a kid in the old country, I learned how to tickle trout. Right. Most people don't believe it. No, I've heard it too. But it's quite, it's quite close. Okay. Everything's taking on summer coloration now. The lighter greens of spring have given way to the darker greens that will 
be with us till fall. We have a turn indicated. <laughs> Part of the clever efficiency of the thing is they take and they double the little pine tree conifer logo and turn it into a green arrow. Indicating the trail direction. Bunch of them. Golding Robin. No wood is complete without one. <laughs> it's bummed about something. I don't think it's us. This will probably be full of mushrooms come season.
And now we're coming to the outcrop of stone that defines the narrows part of the Charles River, the rocky narrows. Thank you. 